Hey guys, this is Spoonie, and I'm back with the third part of my Doctor Who collection series. Uh, this one, we're still on DVDs, and we're going to be covering from the 5th Doctor through the 7th Doctor, as well as some of the more modern uh, spin-offs and stuff like that. So, we're going to start off kind of where the last one ended, Part 2, with uh, this box set, New Beginnings. It features the last two episodes of the 4th Doctor and the first episode of the 5th. So the last episode of the Fourth Doctor was Legopolis. Uh, there was something where the Master, uh, you can see here, the Master was involved and he ended up getting uh, mortally wounded and he had to regenerate. So this is kind of um, picking up from where that left off with the D Doctor getting used to his new body and at the same time having to fend off the Master. This disc is a great example of uh, how awesome some of these are because it features like audio commentary from the surviving actors, producers. So you can see um, Peter Davison himself, uh, the fifth doctor, is doing commentary on these episodes. Uh, they also have behind the scenes featurettes, uh, archival footage from the BBC TV and radio, and uh, just a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, the next one is called Earthshock. This is uh, story number 122. And I believe this one does feature the death of the character Adric. Uh, there you can see him on the cover. I know uh, some people didn't like him. I didn't really care. So yeah, basically the Cybermen return, and uh, I don't recall exactly how, but Adric dies. One of the few companions to outright die and not just kind of uh, walk away from the doctor, or leave, or retire on their own terms. This is Time Flight, uh, story number 123. And um, I don't know if they deal with the uh, death of Adric in this one, but you can see all the primary actors involved are doing commentary on here. The doctor himself, Peter Davison, and then his uh, two surviving, um, at the time his two surviving sidekicks, uh, Tegan and Nyssa. Uh, so I'm sure they probably discuss the uh, the loss of Adric and how that affected the dynamic. This is the Ark of Infinity, story number 124. Um, there is the new iteration of the Time Lords. Like I said, they got they went through some weird looks in there uh, over the history of the show, and there's a lot of really cool special features on here. Uh, as you can see, it's the same kind of stuff, but even though um, I, I say, like, oh, it's the same stuff, this is all really fascinating. And uh, what's cool about this is, uh, as an appearance system random guard, is the uh, very next Doctor. Now, at the time, I guess that was uh, kind of interesting. Um, I know that Peter Capaldi was in, like, three episodes uh, before he became the Doctor himself. Here we have the five Doctors, which is story number 130. Um, so you've got all five of the Doctors up until this point. Now, William Hartnell, I'm pretty sure he was dead at, at this point, so it was just archival footage of him. Um, as you can see, they did have some uh, older footage of Tom Baker. I don't think he actually appeared in this. I think it was just older, unused footage. Um, and then the second and third Doctors... And you can see they're fighting the, the Daleks and the Cybermen. So this is a battle for the ages. Now, considering how epic that story is and how cool an idea this is, all of the Doctors at that point all teaming up together, uh, there is like no DVD uh, special features on here, which is really disappointing. But um, it's entirely possible that at the time this DVD came out, there just wasn't any uh, supplemental stuff. Uh, I find that hard to believe, considering how much is on the other discs, but you never know. This is Warriors of the Deep. It's uh, story number 131, and it actually features the return of both kind of aquatic-themed villains of the Doctors, the Silurians and the Sea Devils, teaming up. And... Um, Again, this one has a lot of cool special features. Uh, it's it's a shame that the preceding one, The Fifth Doctors, did not. Now we're jumping over to The Sixth Doctor, uh, Colin Baker. No relation to The Fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. This is Vengeance on Varos, uh, story number 139. 
and this one does not have a lot of special features. This is the mark of the Rani, and uh, the Rani here is uh, another rogue Time Lord, similar to the Master, who was uh, an adversary for the Doctor for several episodes. And um, again, you've got some cool special features on this one including more Blue Peter stuff. Uh, I believe Blue Peter was a BBC kids show. This is the Trial of a Time Lord box set. Much like how uh, Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor, had his Key to Time series, uh, which was sort of like a several individual stories that contained an overarching narrative that kind of traveled across them. In that case, they were... Uh, it was a six-story series where they're looking to uh, reassemble the key to time. And in this one, the Doctor goes on trial. And as you can see here, it's stories number 144 through 147. Um, so the first one is uh, Trial of Time Lord, The Mysterious Planet. There you get a good look at the back, as well as the extensive special features on there. Um, more Blue Peter stuff there. Uh, this is the second part of the Trial of Time Lord. This is Mind Warp. This is part three, Terror of the Vervoids. Uh, all, all of the uh, discs in this set have uh, extensive special features on them, which is nice. And the final part in the Trial of a Time Lord, the Ultimate Foe, which uh, obviously it's the Master. And yet again, you've got a disc that is absolutely packed with uh, some awesome special features. Now we're jumping over to the seventh Doctor, Sylvester McCoy, the um, the final Doctor of the original run. I'm not counting the uh, Paul McGann. And as you can see here, um, a good uh, extensive selection of special features on here. And then Survival. This is the very final Doctor Who episode of the original run. Uh, the 1989, the conclusion from 1963 to 1989. This show is getting low ratings, and uh, this story is not very good. It's just a really cheesy story. Um, the master is back, and something's happening. People are turning into like cheetah people, and his sidekick, who is this obnoxious uh, 1980s like British mall punk uh, ace. Uh, she started to get turned into one of the animal people, and, um, yeah, there's, if you watch this, it's not great, like, in, in hindsight, what's cool about Doctor Who is that kind of everything can count, um, but it's easy to see when you watch this why this was cancelled, um, which is too bad, they have a lot of special features on here. Now, moving on from the Seventh Doctor, um, I do have the first five seasons on disc of The New Who with uh, Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant, uh, including all those little uh, animated spin-offs with Martha and stuff like that. Um, if you've seen the original packaging on that, I don't know if it's gotten better. There's like a plastic sleeve, and the discs came in this cardboard thing, and you had to try to slide the cardboard into the plastic, but the plastic was not meant to bend, so it cracked and broke, and it just... Um, my wife ended up putting all the discs into a little uh, CD binder. I uh, just don't know where she has it right now, so I'm not going to show them off. But I will show you the stuff I do have. Um, so, unfortunately, the first uh, season of Torchwood is in the binder. Uh, the second season, um, the packaging was a little bit better on Torchwood. But still, um, not great. Anyways, Torchwood was uh, actually a really good spin-off, uh, sort of while it was on. Um, in my opinion, the first season was probably the best. This season, I think, is divisive because they kill off two of the fan-favorite characters on this. And uh, I know that kind of affected some people going forward uh, into this, um, which is Torchwood Children of Earth. 
As you can see, there's significantly less people on this cover than there were on this one. It's because they're dead. And um, this was sort of marketed as a mini-series, I think, even though it is just season three. And I just want to point out that uh, both of these, if you look at the back, special features, oh wow, English 5.1 surround. Like, how is it that these things have less special features than stuff from like 50, 60 years ago? How come there's more behind the scenes footage and crap about these older, decades older programs than this stuff? Um, just because it would be cool to watch that stuff. It would be cool to watch the production elements of it. This is the first season of the Sarah Jane Adventures. Um, this was a spinoff after her return in, I think, the second season of The New Who, uh, the first David Tennant season. And um, as you can kind of see by the cover here, uh, this is very juvenile. It very much is a kid's show with, like, Sarah Jane as, like, the cool aunt. Um, K-9 is in this one, I believe. Although I know he did get his own spinoff at some point. Um, anyways, I, I think I heard that the show did get a little bit better by the, uh, the end of it, the fourth season. Uh, unfortunately, Liz Sladen, the uh, woman who played Sarah Jane Smith, uh, died from, I think, cancer. It was basically a huge secret she was able to keep from everybody. Um, but unfortunately, I think that's what caused this uh, series to end. Uh, so that's it for this one. Uh, as I always say, if you want to see more, let me know. I can go into depth on any of this stuff. Otherwise, that's it for the Doctor Who DVD collection, old and new. And in the final part of this series, I'm going to be looking at the Doctor Who comic books that I have. I hope to see you there. Bye.